Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 7 of Philippians chapter 3. But whatever things were gained to me, these things I have counted as loss because of Christ. More than that, I count all things to be loss in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them mere rubbish so that I may gain Christ and may be found in Him, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings, being conformed to His death, if somehow I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already grasped it all or have already become perfect, but I press on if I may also take hold of that for which I was even taken hold of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I do not regard myself as having taken hold of it yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, all who are mature, let's have this attitude, and if in anything you have a different attitude, God will reveal that to you as well. However, let's keep living by that same standard to which we have attained. Paul's priority was to know Christ. The apostle spoke of counting all things as loss in comparison to his relationship with the Lord, and he was given spiritual blessings that surpassed anything the world had to offer. When any one of us who is a believer seeks Christ through his word, we too can expect the following spiritual blessings. A quiet spirit. As we read and meditate on God's word, he restores our souls. Then, instead of having stress and worry, we'll experience peace of mind. A stronger faith. Studying Scripture enlarges our view of God and gives us insight into His desires, ways, and will. The bigger the Lord becomes to us, the more we will trust Him in every circumstance. A purified heart. God's Word reveals our sins so we can repent and receive forgiveness and cleansing. And a renewed mind. When we read Scripture and apply its principles, our mind will be renewed to think biblically about God, ourselves, and the world. Because Christ was the pursuit of Paul's life, he knew joy amidst trials and received the strength to face turmoil and difficulty. These blessings are ours as well, when knowing Jesus is our highest goal. <music> 